belter of a game tomorrow. Chelsea sitting in 10th position, would you believe, going into this game. They have a couple of games in hand on some of those around them. Um, but they've played the same number of games as Manchester City, who they meet tomorrow at Stamford Bridge. And coverage starts at two kickoffs, three Eastern over on Peacock. We were just talking to him about Nathan Jones not yeah. being able to say no to that opportunity. It's similar with Graham Potter. There's no way you'd say no to Chelsea when you're Brighton manager, but they're sitting 10th going yeah. into this one tomorrow. Assess his few months in charge for us. Well, I almost feel like a hypocrite because we talked about Jones and said, you know, is his time running out after four games, you know, because they could go down. Um, I believe, I do, I believe in giving managers time. When I look at Graham Potter, he's a good manager. He's deserving of the Chelsea job. Is it a step up? Yes, but mm. someone who certainly uh, can do the job. The issue is going to become time. You know, does Todd Bowley change the club around? You know, Abramovich never gave anybody time. You know, win or lose, which is, which is his prerogative. You know, will Todd Bowley give, give him time? He needs it because they bought so many players over the last couple of years, quality players in certain areas. But ultimately, are these players his players? Are, are, are these the type of players Potter wants? Look at the goalkeeper. I thought Mendy was brilliant. I absolutely thought he was brilliant. He's not his cup of tea, so Kepa's in. That's fine. But if you look around the pitch, there's going to be a ton of players like that. So in order to get his system implemented, he's got quality players, but you have to imagine he's going to want his own players in, the ones that identify with him and assist him the most. And that doesn't happen overnight. Yes, Chelsea have underperformed. Absolutely. They will get better, but it needs time. Danny, um, what do you want to see from Chelsea tomorrow, which will convince you, if you need convincing, mm. that this is going the right direction, Chelsea? I think that they need to be more of a threat in front of goal. I think that's the problem. I think let, let's, let's not forget that I think before, before Potter um, went there, they got rid of Timo Werner. Uh, obviously, Lukaku has been there. So they haven't really got... They, OK, they brought in Aubameyang, but they haven't got this out-and-out -out centre-forward that's going to get your goals. Now, with Potter as well, we saw with his time in Brighton, it's slowly but surely because he has to get his messages across to the players, make sure that the players are on board, make sure they know exactly what's expected of them. But it's a different scenario than, than at Brighton. The pressure is going to come quicker. And if they get a win tomorrow, I think what that does, that gives belief to the players, it gives belief to everybody involved, but it's going to be a really tough game. The thing about Manchester City, why they're champions so often, is the minute somebody falters, they jump on yep. it. Yep. Arsenal faltered mm -hmm. on whatever day of the week it was that they mm -hmm. did yesterday, I think it was. They'll get a sniff of that, won't they, mm -hmm. Tim? They'll be all of a, over it tomorrow. They'll understand that, that that is an opportunity. You know, One thing I've wrote down here is I've always given Pep credit for the way... How does he get his teams to go again? How does he get these players to not be lazy, to rest on their laurels, to go again? Most teams can't do that. When you look at sports around the world, it's difficult to repeat and to be that great. They seem less formidable this year, but that's my question. I wonder if Pep's still got it in him, which I think he does, to say, you know what? There's a little bit of a crack there. Arsenal dropped points. Let's go again. Can we go on this 14-game unbeaten streak like we always seem to do every season at some point? Does this current City team have it in them? Well, history tells us. They do have it in them. Mm. We shall see, though, if this season is different from previous. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.